We get there. There's something I have to tell you about Philip Spaulding's murder. Gus, were you able to get to Harley? No. But a prison bus just rolled by with Harley staring out the back window. That's astonishing. Astonishing? That's all you have to say? It's your dream come true, isn't it? She's halfway to hell by now, Alan. No, I'm sorry. Why? I'm the one who failed her. You know, it'd be great mm. if I could live in two worlds at the same time. The safe secure, wonderful world I have with you and the wild, unpredictable life I have tending bar for Nate. <laughs> I'm not really sure how I feel about being stuck in the safe, secure world. Je well, you know what? You are everything. Everything. And I am so lucky. Which is why I should stop being so greedy. So I'm going to quit my job at Outskirts, and I am going to go back to work at the TV station. Like hell you are. I didn't marry a quitter. So what do you think? This is great, huh? We're together, and, and we're happy. Happy couple. I mean, I, I almost wish somebody were here to take our picture just Olivia, to capture okay? the What's that? Yeah, it's great. Things are wonderful. Well, things weren't so wonderful about an hour ago. You pulled a gun on Gus. What are you... He took my daughter. But she's home now, where she belongs, and that's all that really matters. So there's nothing to worry about, is there? to just forget about going back to work at WSPR and hang on to my bartending gig. Reva, I want you to be happy. And that makes you happy. Well, I know you don't like me being there. Uh, you love tending bar, right? Mm-hmm. And, and when you're there, you feel like you could be exactly who you are. Well, sure, but even so... Have I asked you to quit? Have I made some kind of demand on you that you hang up your apron and come to work for me, the new owner of WSPR? Huh? No, you've been completely understanding. Unbelievably so. Why is that unbelievable? What did you expect? I don't know. I, I, Not I, this. I just can't understand why it is that you would walk away from something that gives you a, a, a charge that you can't seem to get anywhere else. You should probably get a mop so this doesn't happen again. You're right. I don't want to make a habit of being on top of you. <laughs> Let me tell you something, mister. You know what gives me a charge? What I love most? It's you. Not some stupid bar job. Reva, it's not stupid. If it makes you happy. Hello? I need your body. Who is this? Gia calls from many men, saying things like that. More than you think. I hope I haven't caught you at a bad time. Uh, no, actually, scratch that. I really don't care. Nice. I'll meet you down at the bar. Big party coming. We'll find another bartender. Sorry, love, has to be you. Client's request. 
I make it snappy. I'm lonely. Pathetic, aren't I? You said it. I promise I won't hurl myself on you this time. How nice of you. I'll see you soon. Bartending emergency. Thirsty people. Lots of them. What are you waiting for? Olivia, we need to talk, and don't you ask me about what, because you know damn well. Shh, you know what? I don't want to fight. Listen to me, Gus took Emma for a reason, because he had a lot of questions about the night Philip was murdered. And frankly, baby, so do I. Can, can we just go home to our daughter? Okay, we're not going anywhere until you answer the question. Did you shoot Philip or not? Gus, it's time to come home and let your family support you. Now, I know you and I have some fences that need to be mended. But Philip is dead. Night of all nights. Because come midnight, it will be Philip's birthday. Only this year, he won't be here to celebrate it with us. And I think we should all remember it, together as a family. I will pass, thank you. Zach will be very disappointed. Wait a second, you're making Zach go to this thing? Well, Zach is a Spalding. But it's going to be a very emotional night for him. I mean, his father is dead, his mother is gone. And don't you think that Harley would want you here to help him feel not so alone? I think it's sick what you're doing. Can I count on you to come? I'll come for Zach. Okay, I'll come for his sake and I'll come because this is what Harley would have wanted. Philip, tonight at midnight, we will remember you. And I promise you, son, you will soon have the peace and rest that you deserve. Because I won't stop until Harley and Olivia and everyone else who hurt you and gave you so much pain, painful.
should get home. Olivia, answer the question. It's been a long day. Why did you lock us in that room? To teach him a lesson. Olivia, tell me, did you shoot Philip or not? Just if I were the killer, do you really think I would let Gus walk out of that room alive? Now, can we please go home? Olivia, you skipped the town. You almost did it right after the murder, too. Oh, that makes that's... you look guilty. Don't then you I'm guilty. That? I'm would guilty. You please, Olivia, please, just give me something to hang on to. Something to hang on to until you are willing to be straight with me. What if there isn't anything? Well, there has to be something because I do not want to lose you. Don't you get it yet? It doesn't matter. I could confess, I could lie, I could claim amnesia. You're still going to turn on me. What? Everyone does sooner or later. Everyone has. Especially the men in my life. What they all left. About? Listen, I am not like the other men in your life. I am not going to leave you. Even if I... Even if you shot Philip, yes. I saw the look on your face when you realized that Gus took my cross creek. And it was pure desperation. She's my baby. I, I know, love her. Of course you do. And you would do anything to protect her. I know that. You've told me that a thousand times, honey. I just didn't realize how far you would go. Until I saw that look in your eye. And then I think about when Philip took Emma. And that he tortured you with it. And refused to let you know where she was. So if you were to point a gun at his chest and he still refused to let you know where your little baby girl was and that trigger accidentally went off, then who could blame you? Who? Not me. Not me. I don't know what's wrong with me. You'd think by now I would have figured out a way to keep up with you, but the fact is I haven't. Come on. I'm not some big mystery. Oh, you think? He, he, predict something for me right now. Do you know what you're going to do next? Okay, you got me there. Sorry. Don't be sorry. You keep changing. You keep evolving into whatever the next version of Riva is going to be. But see, that's part of why I fell in love with you in the first place. Like your own private harem. Exactly. Uh huh. Yes. Hey, why should I try to change you at all? Why should I try to steer you into a place that makes me more comfortable? Riva, if you think about it, the biggest fights we have are usually around me thinking that I have to fix you in some way. But the fact is this, you're not broken. You're put together in a way different than anybody I've ever known. I'm not going to try to change that anymore. There's no crying in bartending. <laughs> Go. Your boss needs you. I need you. Always. And that won't change.
a big emergency. There's no one in here. I know. You made me leave a rare, wonderful evening with my husband for this. If a wonderful evening with your husband is rare, that's a big emergency. Wow, that looks like... It is. Stephanie? She's... Poor girl hasn't been the same since she fired your butt. I'm sure. That's true. She told me so over the first two shots of tequila. That's her third in front of her. That's why I needed you here. Steffi says she won't leave until you talk to her. Me? Why? Well, it appears that what goes around has already come around. <sighs> yeah, she got pink slipped, just like you did. <laughs> How about that? You're gonna pour salt on the wound. I thought that's what this was for. Reva, Reva. I can get into revenge as much as the next guy, but I never figured you as the type that will kick someone when they're down. Especially a kid. I guess you don't know me as well as you thought you did. I hear you've been looking for me. Reva. Stephanie. Hey. Freshen that drink for you? I was so wrong. I thought I knew exactly how it was all supposed to go, how it would go at the station. Dumb, dumb. I know you hate me. And I don't blame you. I, I hate myself. I got fired. I will never be hired again. I mean, my life is over. Okay, Stephanie. I'm going to tell you something that you probably don't want to hear, but now would really be the best time to tell you this. Never, ever, ever drink shots of tequila without a little salt and lime. Now talk to me. Because I think I just might understand. Well, it's days like this, I wish I hadn't given up drinking. What happened? Oh, nothing until I walked in and saw my son out there playing tongue tag with his wife. And like a couple of teenagers, didn't even see me walk by. You're making the same mistake with him that I've been making with Rita. Oh, dear, am I going to get lectured here? <laughs> You're trying to control Bill because you think you know what's best for him. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, I know what's not good. But you have got to let him go. Sometimes that's the only way you can hang on to the people you love. Now, this is not the first time you've heard this. Think about it, sitting in a, a, a boat with an old man who loves fishing. I hate it when you bring up H because I can't argue with the dead man. What was the advice he used to give us right after we'd cast our lines into the water? Now, when a fish takes your bait, just let him run with it. And he'll tire out pretty soon. You can just reel right in. That was good advice. I've waited all my life for someone to love me like this, unconditionally, you know, flaws and all. Yeah, well, that's what love is, <laughs> as I can tell. Let me take you home and show you what love is to me all night long. Mm -hmm. Wait, Olivia. What's wrong? I need you to answer my question, though. You want to tell me where you were when Philip was shot? You gotta lay it out for me. You just said two minutes ago that you would stick by me even if I did kill him. Yeah, honey, I'm gonna stick by you. But if I'm gonna help you, I have to know what we're dealing with here. I trust you, Olivia, and I trust you will tell the truth. And it's time you trust me with it. You're right. I'm tired of keeping it inside. It's gone on way too long. Here's the guest list. 
Alan, honestly, is it really necessary to have Zach and James here at that time of night? I know it's asking a lot of those little boys, but that is exactly the point. Oh, the point, to keep everybody off balance? No, to break with routine. Now, tonight will not only be about celebrating who Philip was, it will be about our family, about where we're going, our future, and how we have to grab it. Not only just about releasing the pain of the past. Alan, I do know how much you love this family, I... Alexandra, there's nothing that I wouldn't do to save the future of this family. Where are you going? Um, there's uh, one invitation that I need to deliver in person. To whom? Olivia. I want to make sure that she attends. Oh, Alan, why? 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 Why wouldn't I? What do you want to do? Get her here and make her confess to Philip's murder? Oh, no, no. This is foreclosure. Isn't that what we all want? Please open your eyes to it for me, please. <sighs> Baby, I'll never leave you alone again. I'll never let you out of my sight, honey. Oh, is it you? Yes, it's me. Of course, who else? Okay, we have to we have to go, okay? I have to get you over to the car. Okay. The car? Yes. No. Yes. No. Good. Listen, <coughs> right. the police are gonna be here any second, okay? So we're gonna make a run for it. We can't make Listen. a run for it. Yes, we are. I'm not gonna let you go back to that place. Just let go of me. Lena is in the bus! Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. She's not... hurt. We have to get her out. She's hurt bad. Lena. 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 Help me. Okay. Oh, no. Here. 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 Okay. Come on, Lena. No. No. I got it. I got it. Okay. Lena, help us. Help us. Okay. All right. Come on. Oh, no. for just about everything. I think that's why fired rhymes with hired. <laughs> You're really great, Reva. You remind me of, if you say your mother or any variable on that theme, I will smack you into next week. I was going to say my little sister. My teenage little sister. Oh, see, you're a smart girl. You're learning. I'm so sorry I fired you. You did me a favor when you gave me the boot. Here's to going with the flow and trusting that it will lead us to a better place. You see, I'm getting myself into a better place with Reva right now. I, I've adopted a hands-off policy where she is concerned, not uh, literally speaking, of course. Well, well guys, you'd say not. I mean, buying a television studio is not exactly hands-off. Yeah, but it wasn't entirely about Reva either. Don't forget, we, we stole it away from Alan Spalding. That's a good thing. And... I got to experience the joy of firing the so-called executive that canned my wife. You know, I could probably have a talk with the new owner of WSPR and see if I can get you rehired. And you'd still try to help me after what I did to you? <laughs> well, there was a time when I would have put you in the blender with the margaritas, but what the hell? <laughs> you... I'm so sorry I ever said that you were... Past your prime. You rock. Oh, rock on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stuff. Called you a cab, love. Oh, Ten. thank you. Thank you so much. No problem. Hmm. Okay, walk carefully. <laughs> Touching moment. Mm. 
Girl power and all that? Yeah, well, I owe you one, Nate. What do I do? I admit that I would have crushed her under my heel, but you inspired me to be a better person. You showed me the right thing to do. Maybe not on purpose, but I'll take it. Sounds like I'm working against my own best interests here. Yeah. You know, I like it when you get on this uh, no holes barred motif. I like it. Well, that's good because uh, I've made a deal with the devil. In exchange for gaining control of WSPR, I have agreed to join forces to bring down Alan Spaulding. With whom? Sebastian Hulse. Oh, well, definitely the devil's child, Roger Thorpe's kid. Would you, you, you trust him? Let's see. Yeah, wouldn't H.B. love it? You and I with Alan Spaulding on a big old plate, and we're going to carve him up like a big turkey. <laughs> <laughs> I was at the end of my rope. Philip had taken Emma, and he swore to me that he wasn't going to give her back. And I just, I had to find her. I, I had to do something, and I s swear, I never intended for that night to end up the way that it did. I came here and I... There you are, Olivia. Well, then we're in the middle of something. You uh, mind? Uh, Olivia, I, I want you to know that you and Emma are invited to the house tonight for a little family gathering. We're going to be remembering Philip's birthday. Maybe we have to go. No. Yes. We're going to hear sirens any second, Beth. Please. I can't just leave her. She's hurt. Hi. <laughs> what happened? Emily. Oh, my God. I knew. I knew you would come. <laughs> I told you I would. Yeah. Remember? Yeah, you, you, you did say that. Are you cold? No. No, baby, I'm fine. I I I didn't know when you'd come. I I've just been waiting. You should you know? rest. You should I've rest. been waiting and waiting. I never gave up hope though, never. I knew. I know I know one day. One day. Hey, Mom. Mom. Mommy? Come on, Mommy. Mommy, open your eyes. Come on, please, help is coming. Gus.
So your shift's over. And the joint's empty. So you can take off. Or not. What would my other choice be? As if you have to ask. Nate. This place is, is fun. It's a blast, actually. But what it isn't is my home or my family or my... Right. It, it isn't. And you aren't. I know. I know. Well... Good night, then. To new beginnings. Those boys ride again. Hey, whoa, 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 wait. What spooked you? I don't know. I guess uh, must be something to do with uh, dealing with Sebastian. I don't know. Uh, Sebastian's not going to bring us down. Nobody's going to stop us. You know, a midnight party for Philip sounds like a blast, Alan, but you're going to have to play pin the tail on the course with someone else. You know something, Bill? I didn't expect you to be enthusiastic about this. That's why you're not invited. It's just addressed to Emma and me. Well, you're not going to go without me, are you? This is a celebration for the father of your child, the man who gave Emma life. Now, I think that is reason enough to come. To acknowledge my debt to the Spaldings? No. To acknowledge your connection to the Spaldings. Now, I hope you come, Olivia. That is, uh, unless you're afraid of something. No, what, what would I have to be afraid of? Lizzie's evil eye, Alexandra's muttered insults. No, I, I can handle myself. I'm sure you can, but I think uh, there are certain things emotionally you haven't handled, and they may be stirred up. After all, you were Philip's wife, among other things. Okay, we are going home to be with Emma. <clears throat> No, I, 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 I think that I can um, find some time to stop by and pay my respects. Olivia, what are you talking about? That's insane. Good, Olivia. Thank you. I'll see you a little after midnight tonight. Bill? Olivia, you cannot go. If you do, it's only going to make you upset. If I don't show up, he's going to just be more suspicious. Please. Please. Could you get the car? I'll, I'll wait here. haunted me long enough, Philip. I am going to bury you again tonight. And this time you will stay buried. Miss Spaulding, is there anything you'd like for the party? Oh, just make sure there are plenty of seat belts. Seat belts, ma'am. Well, as someone once said, it's going to be a bumpy ride. taking my place. She used my name and my number to keep me from going to Hellas. There's nothing else that we can do for her now. Except save yourself. That's what you would want. But why do I get a second chance to live? Listen to me. Don't think about that right now, okay? Won't you think about freedom? And you can have it if you leave with me right this second. Yeah. <laughs> 